So we can work with Azure AD Active Directory using the uh, Azure AD in the administrative portal for Office 365, and that works great. But uh, there are some limitations to it, right? It's just like working with Active Directory. You can do it using the GUI tools in an on-premise deployment, or you can do it using PowerShell. And PowerShell gives you the ability to automate some tasks, and it allows you to streamline some processes. Well, the same thing happens when we're working with Azure AD. If we do it using PowerShell, and there is modules that will allow us to do it, if we do it using PowerShell, we can bypass some of the uh, web interface, so we can sometimes do things faster, and we can automate processes using scripts and other command line tools. So let's talk about how we would do that. Now, I've got PowerShell open here with an, as an administrator, and you need to be able to do that. You also obviously need to have an Azure AD account. So I am going to install a module and it's install module. You can do dash name. This is a positional parameter or you can just type Azure AD. Now that's going to use, install this using PowerShell get. Um, there is going to be a prompt that pops up here saying you're working from an untrusted repository. And basically what that means is we're pulling out of the PowerShell get repositories and those the PS gallery is not inherently trusted. So we have to say yes we're going to do this or no we're not. Now we're going to go ahead and say yes and we're going to install this module from uh, the PS gallery. And so we're downloading here. It's not that big, only about seven and a half megabytes, and then we'll extract it and install it. Okay, now at this point, well, when it gets done here, we'll have the Azure AD, there we go, we'll have the Azure AD module installed. So we can look for commands. So we can do get command module Azure AD and that will load the module and show us all of the commands and you can use the normal get uh, module or get command to discover all the different commands so it's Azure AD and let's specify we want things that are verbs that are going to be get and we're going to pipe that to more just to control this all right and here are all the things and you'll see that all of these kind of start with Azure AD as and that's to separate it from the uh, AD management where we have uh, get AD user and this is get Azure AD user now if we try to run one of these commands it's actually not going to work get Azure AD user and it's going to say we can't do that but it does tell us why you must call the connect Azure AD command first so we can do connect Azure AD and it's going to pop up the screen and going to ask us to sign in so I'm going to go ahead and sign in using my trial of Office 365 And you just need to log in with an account that has the permissions to manage whatever tenant you're using. And then we'll, I'm going to skip that because I don't need to do that at the moment. Okay, now that should connect us to Azure Active Directory. And there we are. So account D Dalton at Best321 on Microsoft.com. We're using the Azure Cloud. This is our tenant ID, our tenant domain, and our account type. So now I can issue these commands like get Azure AD user. And that will list my Azure AD users for me. So now all of these things will work. I just need to remember to connect Azure AD before I start trying to run commands against or using the Azure AD uh, module against the Azure Active Directory. Now, one other thing to be aware of, I'm going to do a get help here on connect Azure AD, A Z U R E, Azure AD. I'm going to pipe that to more because I want to look at a little bit of this. So you can see where we can create access tokens, specify account IDs. Um, we can set access tokens. We can define tenant IDs. So I just did the connect Azure AD and it gave me a it gave me a login prompt. There we go. I couldn't think of the word for a minute. 
Uh, if I wanted to bypass that, then and just have it automatically log in. I can use accounts uh, IDs. I can pass it credentials, so I can automate this process, which means I can put it in a script that would connect me to the Azure AD. Now, just and I can completely automate that process. I'm not going to go through how to do it right now, but you can completely automate that process. Now, I would counsel you to be very careful about doing that, because what happens then is you are predefining your credentials. And obviously, when you change your Azure AD credentials, then you'll have to update that script accordingly. Um, but one of the reasons I would uh, tell you to be careful with that is because if somebody else gets a hold of that script, and it kind of depends on how you've done it, right? But if somebody else gets a hold of that script and you have the login information in that script, then they now have access to your Azure Active Directory as well. So even though there is an extra step in going ahead and manually authenticating, you might want to think about the security or some of the security implications about that. Okay, there we go. We have connected Azure AD in PowerShell.